As an elite Air Force pararescuer, Craig Fitzgerald took bravery in service to thrilling new heights. But Craig's sense of adventure was already apparent years earlier when he joined the Nashua New Hampshire Boys Club at the age of eight. At the club, Craig played basketball, found mentorship, and enjoyed new activities, especially an outreach program that took city kids to the woods. Craig attended the club until his high school graduation when he joined the Air Force, serving first as a survival training instructor, then a pararescuer. In 2003, he was leading a rescue reconnaissance mission in Afghanistan when insurgents attacked. Severely wounded, he underwent 11 surgeries and was medically retired in 2004. Wanting to give back to other injured veterans, Craig began planning an ambitious fundraiser. In 2006, he and a friend hiked the 2,200-mile Appalachian Trail in just four months. The hike generated more than $150,000 for the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes, an organization that assisted him after he was wounded. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Fitzgerald. I just want to say thank you very much to the uh, Boys and Girls Club of America. You look at the front row here and you look at the people who have been inducted in the past, the caliber of individuals that get inducted into this, and I mean, they're household names. And to be um, given the opportunity to be a part of that group, it really means a lot, so I appreciate that. I also uh, would like to thank my friends and uh, former teammates. My wife is currently serving a year in Iraq herself, and she couldn't be here tonight. And with, without a... And uh, the thing about pararescue and survival and evasion in general was just a brotherhood that, um, that comes along with the job. And these guys, without hesitation, despite averaging 250 to 300 days a year away from their families, came out to support me. And I really appreciate that. But when you spend a lot of time in the hospital, you really, and you, and you face a tough obstacle in your life like I did, it really forces you to reflect back on your life. It really forces you, um, in that reflection, to come to appreciate the individuals, and in this case, the organizations that have had a very, very profound impact in your life. And I can say, without a doubt, that the Boys and Girls Club is at the top of that list. And then you also had the kids that were there every day. I mean, they're there every day, from the time they're waiting for the doors to be opened, and the staff members are asking them to leave at the end of the night. <laughs> and, and for 10 years, from age to eight, 8 to 18, and then a couple years after as a junior staff, I, I was one of those individuals. I mean, if you can think of a program from Smart Moves to Toastmasters to Torch Club to Keystone, you name it, there's a good chance that I was a part of it at some point in time. <laughs> And uh, in doing those events, you come I had the privilege of coming across, in my eyes, just, I mean, I know there's great staff members across the country, but in my eyes, I had the privilege of coming across and interacting with really a dream team of staff members, and I'll say their names, it's just Ron Haydorn, Joe Hungler, Kevin Deary, Kurt Norris, and at the executive level, Norman Boudelette. I mean, they, they all right. I mean, these individuals, just as a young child, I really, really looked up to them. I looked up to them, and I don't think they'll ever realize how much I looked up to them. And as I, again, move forward toward those goals and embark on other endeavors, I really will carry that guiding light um, at the core within me. And um, until the day I die, I, I owe a great, great debt of gratitude to everything they've done specifically and to the Boys and Girls Club of America just done for me as a whole. And so I really accept this on, on their behalf. I appreciate it.